Bro, no, get out of the moment. ice. The ice is ruining your life. Can't you see it? I didn't want to drink bleach this morning. My organs are failing. I can feel it. If I drink <laughs> another sip, I might die. But this is what discipline is. H League Clip Factory. Ethan, great move. Shut up, by the way. I saw this TikTok this morning. It's kind of in the alpha brain world. And I just thought, this is so, this really shows how dumb this shit is. Now, ice baths is like the hot new thing in the alpha world. Everybody's got to take an ice bath. Ice bath in the morning, ice bath in the afternoon. We need, we wake up, we break the ice, we get in the ice water. Everybody's doing it. I saw Russell Brand in an ice bath this morning. This, it's like everybody's in the fucking ice bath. That dude. He, that, what happened to him, huh? I mean, I think he was always a bit of a nut, but he's really no, but off the deep this, end. This dude would, did one goddamn episode with Joe Rogan, and now look at him. What happened, bro? This is you on Alpha Brain. He used to be funny. Now he's in an ice bath. <laughs> he was the lead singer for one of the greatest bands of all time, Infant Sorrow. Now he's taking fucking ice baths. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> we need someone to make a compilation of all your references. That uh, that's like your third movie, movie reference. Yeah. 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 So you got it. Yeah, I, got I, it. I, I love got it. I love his song African Child. It's great. <laughs> Brush my teeth to that shit. He was huge though. He was like <laughs> a, the biggest act for a while. He was married to Katy Perry. Yeah, he was married to he had it all. He was married to Katy Perry. Forgetting Sarah Marshall was yeah. huge. Yeah. So now he's in a fucking ice bath taking Alpha Brain. So what's the deal with the ice bath? I did a little bit of research. Because part of me is like, the skeptical part of me is like, there's no fucking way that this ice bath is that good for you. And what I found is that like, for elite athletes who are doing like insane muscle training, it can lower the, um, what do you call it? The Inflammation? Uh, inflammation. A little bit. It's not really even proven. I mean, it, it makes, well, it intuitively makes sense because, like, when your muscles are sore, you put an ice pack on it. Like, yeah, but you, yeah, but you keep the ice on it. Here you go in, if you stand for more than three minutes, you get hypothermia. Oh, uh, all right. They have some weird pseudoscience thing where you shock the body and then it's supposed to, like, give, I don't Constrict know. Strict the blood vessels, you know, and yada, yada. Make the nipples bigger. Yeah. <laughs> Make your nipples Yo, huge. can we call Dr. Rock Id? Hard. Wait, I wonder if Dr. Ids can chime in on this. Well, he's a nutritionist. I guess he knows everything, you know, bro. He knows he more than everything. me. Everything. I mean, he's almost more than me. Shit. People said do an ice bath. That Ethan did an ice bath on the show, and he ate r raw meat. <laughs> did you guys forget? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, I think ice baths can be useful in a very limited setting for extreme athletes. Not like, not like Derek in his backyard, because he now, wants to <laughs> prove something. It. You're somewhat in, insulting Love's culture here because he mentioned before the show that um, it's a it's pretty popular in Sweden, right? Well, Sweden, but mo more importantly, or more more in uh, Finland, but yeah, it's a little bit of a thing here. Not massive, but in, in Finland, it's every every night I think for a really? lot of people. Really? No shot. That's no, not crazy. Literally. But it's a, like it's a typical thing. Like you take an ice bath and then a sauna. That's like a classical Go fin from the Finnish cold thing. To the hot, yeah, sure. but. I kind of feel like they just kind of stole it from us. We're doing it as like more of a social thing. And it is nice. It gives you a nice feeling when you take a dip and then go into the sauna directly. It's right. nice. Sure. There's, no, there's no major like weird bro signs behind it. It's just do it. It feels kind of nice. And then uh, go into the sauna. and Refreshing. Uh, sh chill with the boys, you know. <laughs> a little bit of boys. a sauna with the boys. Come on. Chill now. nude with the yeah, boys. Yeah, I get that. That sauna. sounds fun, sauna. right? That's nice. Yeah. Well, I saw this guy, and I'm like, dude, you don't have to do this. <laughs> this guy, he's Jordan Makes Vids on TikTok. This is day 59 of his ice bath, and listen to what he says about it. Ugh. Morning, guys. It is day 59 of taking an ice bath every single day. And I gotta be real with you. I feel like quitting. I don't want to do this today. I stood there staring out the window procrastinating for the last 20 minutes, thinking about all the excuses that I had not to do this. I didn't sleep well last night. I'm tired. My kids are sick. I woke up with anxiety. 
And then I thought to myself, with all those things stacked against me, what if I could still pull this off? Dude, yeah. listen, listen to all the reasons. This is ruining your life. <laughs> Isn't it supposed to help you feel better? He's like, I can't sleep. I wake up anxious. I stare out the window in terror and dread. It's <laughs> just like forlorn, wait, thousand yard stare. Wait, it's it's not helping you. It's it's making your life worse. Stop doing it, man. <laughs> Look, I'm forty. I'm uh, tired. It's like, I'm sweaty. I'm like, fat. What I'm happened overweight. to the benefits? Isn't it supposed to make you feel good? It, it's not working for you, bro. <laughs> or just or just take the day off. <laughs> just skip. You know, it, it is okay. And then I thought I to myself. Think- but he goes, he goes, no, I thought to my ear, my kids are sick. His kids are sick from sitting in the ice. <laughs> I woke up with anxiety and then I thought to myself, with all those things stacked against me, what if I could still pull this off? And so that's what I'm going to do. It's minus four degrees Celsius out here this morning. I mean, I didn't, but I know you can pull it off. You're just sitting in water. <laughs> like theoretically, it's not that hard. It's quite easy, actually. Yeah. It's just unpleasant as it's. As you're clearly laying out here, to the extent that you're I continue to torture myself every morning. Staring out the window, dreading. I woke up this morning. Dread. Oh, God. I couldn't sleep. I haven't slept in days. <laughs> I just think about the ice. <laughs> but I'm still going to do it, because apparently it helps me in some way. Temperature. It's one degree Celsius. We're going to do three minutes in the ice bath. No matter what's going on in my mind right now, it's still going to be a good day. <laughs> it's can call in, is, in 10 minutes. Can you stay true to what you said you were going to do long after the mood that you set it in is gone? Bro, it's a, so this is like part of this kind of it's okay to change your mind, bro. If you realize it's not helping you, or it's not a good idea. Like like I get the dedication is good and discipline is good, but it's okay to change your mind, dude. And I think it would it would be an easier sell if it was something other than ice. Like if he's talking about like he's dedicated to going on a mile jog every morning. Great. And he wakes up in the morning this one morning and is just like, God, I really don't want to do this. But you know what? I'm going to push forward. That's understandable, and you know, good for you. But with the ice bath, it's just out of probably could skip a day. I mean, he might as well be like that much. This morning, I didn't want to put bamboo shoots under my nails. But I pledged I'd do it. <laughs> I said I would. For 60 days. The man is dedicated. He's wearing Detroit Lions shirt and hat. That shows dedication because we suck. So. <laughs> and he's not even from Detroit, I don't think. Wow, this guy just hates yeah. his life. I laid down this morning on a bed in, or on the fucking draw and quartering machine. <laughs> I didn't want to get drawn and quartered this morning. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> You know what? Today I... I said I would. Today, this morning, I stepped into the Iron Maiden. <laughs> I knew I, it just motivates me, and I, I don't like it. I have angst. I have panic attacks all day. My skin is bleeding. I can't eat. My kids say I've changed. My wife is leaving me. But I'm dedicated. <laughs> and this is helping me somehow. See, motivation will get you started. My wife went out for pizza without me. (laughs) He'll never finish. Stop making excuses. Get up and finish what you started. Bro, it's... You've run out of things that he's repeating himself now. But, like, I don't want to go to sleep with fear. That's not motivational, bro. You don't have to make yourself miserable. You, 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 You are... You might as well just go live in Guantanamo Bay, bro, if you think it's so dope. You know, just go live on this. Just be homeless. I mean, if that's the, uh, just go. What's the point here? Some days you just don't have it. But discipline doesn't this care. This is how the you saddest feel. fucking video I've ever seen. No matter how you feel, some days. <laughs> My life is falling apart. He really did not have a much material to vamp for this long. He's just been in the <laughs> wheels here. He's having a rough day, Dan. It's a rough day. Do it anyway. I'm sitting in ice. <laughs> I'm sitting in ice. I'm already sad. Now My I'm in ice and My sad. kids are dying. <laughs> My wife left me. Bro, Not get out of the down. ice. The ice is ruining your life. Can't you see it? Very sweet that he kept the hat on. 
He needs it because he, he, yeah, he does. His, no, his microphone is on there, even though it's pointed away from oh. his mouth. Oh, one of, one of these little bad. Oh, okay. want him to get like, cold. What is that hat doing? For the audio is right actually now. pretty good quality. I'm he's got it. Yeah, yeah, pretty good. But he's a giant pussy because his head is warm. He dunks. He doesn't have the discipline. He takes it off and dunks at the end of the video. Okay. Mm. Good. You just got to remember. Pussy. This too shall pass. It, it, no. You did it this, to yourself. This too shall pass. You. <laughs> You didn't have to have to, something to pass. You're the one that got in the bath. It'll pass when you get out of the bath. You get out of the bath and then you, you don't go in it again. And then it's passed. What's passing? I don't understand. Come on, you fools. All right, time's up. He just doesn't come back. Time's up. <laughs> he goes on it forever. <laughs> I don't know. I I was like, wow, these guys have gone too far. This video's sad as shit. <laughs> and it's not. it's so silly. I feel like it's like simulated struggle because they can't have like a very hard life outside of this. So they have to like force themselves to do these arbitrary weird ass things. Right. That's a good. I'm sure if they actually have a hard life, you're yeah. not gonna be like, oh, I gotta do a fucking ice bath right now before I. Work 12 hours at the fucking factory. No, he probably has an easy ass life. No, yeah. I guarantee you there's no Indian street vendors who work 20 hours a day. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Who go in for the uh, the ice bath dip after (laughs) work. (laughs) Yeah. This guy is so motivational. That's the top comment. (laughs) He is the opposite of motivation to me. I think this guy is fucking looks so sad. And I do not want to be like this man, which is (laughs) sad. The the underlying, you know, uh, the message of motivation again, like substitute in going on a jog for two months straight or whatever, or something a little bit more listen Dan. tangibly beneficial listen. than the ice bath. I didn't want to drink bleach this morning, but <laughs> I said I'm I dedicated would. to myself. Oh, My organs motivation. are failing. I can feel it. If I drink <laughs> another sip, I might die. But I'm dead. This is what discipline is. You know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that, Dan, with jog every morning. I'm gonna make one of these videos. Well, that's fine, and that yeah. wouldn't that yeah, wouldn't that, you know, yeah, that would fine. be motivational. That'd be great. I'd be happy for you. Thank you. Happy for you, bro. Or sorry. Today I'm gonna be eating ten Twinkies for breakfast. It's all about dedication. I haven't shit in ten days, <laughs> <laughs> but I made a goal, and I'm gonna stick to it. Yeah, it's great. The bro science world needs a reality check. These guys are so far gone. Yeah, I don't know. Today I stared at the sun for a minute. <laughs> it really hurt. Stop the sun from being hot. I can, I can feel my vision I can still see deteriorating. It now. Hours later, a big bright burning <laughs> ball. In <my> eyes. <laughs> I'm dedicated. God damn it. I woke up this morning, I could see the sun when my eyes closed, and I didn't want to wake up. I got panic attacks when I see the sun, but I still had to look at it. I didn't wake up. <laughs> so Dr. Ids is going to call in, apparently. I want to get his take on the ice bath. I, would, I think it has limited benefits, you know, in, in mm-hmm. specific situations. That's my take on it. Yeah, well, he benefits knows what we're everybody. talking about. He, he'll be home soon, he said. What well, if he just comes in and owns us right now? Like, no, actually, the research says this is massively beneficial. Mental <laughs> and physical health. This man will live forever. Yeah. 46, every ice bath you take adds a year onto your life. <laughs> Catch me tomorrow morning in the ice bath. Mm-hmm. I can set it up for all of us. That'd be, let's do the whole show in ice bath. Fuck it. Ugh. Ice bath um, stream. But Dr. Iz is on the phone, so let's talk to this. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, is he not, Olivia? Well, he's, he's ready, okay. but he is not on the line yet. Well, uh... No minuto. All right, I'm bringing in Dr. Iz. Let's not greet him with a bunch of pedo talk. Go ahead. Here we go, bring him in. He's right there. Okay, uh, doctor, are you there? Hello, yes, I can hear you. Doctor welcome, is always welcome. there, Dan. 
I'm always here. I'm always here. Dr. Ids, thank you for joining us as always. Um, My pleasure. My pleasure. Thanks for reaching out. The question today is ice baths. It's popular on the bro science world. Ice baths every day, all the time. We watched a video of a guy. He was like, this is my 49th day of doing an ice bath. I'm miserable. I hate it. I have anxiety. I, ca I can't sleep. I procrastinate looking out the window because I dread going in there so much, but I'm doing it because I'm dedicated. Um, is there benefits to doing these ice baths to that level? That you know of right so yeah this is there's lots of avenues to this one question because first of all the context in which they are doing it so this gentleman you're talking about is he doing it as like a one thing in the morning is it for one minute is it for less is it for 10 minutes he does it for three yeah. minutes every morning okay. and he the water is like one or two degrees celsius and he showed it was actually it was negative four outside where he was doing he was in canada and it was mm. below zero fahrenheit um the water was one or two degrees celsius so right very 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 cold okay interesting yeah so this is part of the field of cold immersion therapy or like cold water immersion therapy um and there's actually been some decent data on it for I think the strongest evidence for it is going to be surrounding post-exercise muscle recovery, mm -hmm. right? So I know that there's a recent um, analysis in twin, it, last year that compared lots of different types of kind of active recovery. So things like massaging, foam rolling, you know, like a light bicycle ride kind of after your exercise session and they found that the cold water immersion it might not have been as cold as what you what you guys are talking about but um a few minutes of that within an hour or two after your exercise session does seem to improve the rate at which you recover from exercise um mm. but in terms of in terms of so there's there's differences in the in the science so you've got things like cold shower like cold showers right where they're not as cold as like an ice bath there's some emerging evidence showing that people who suffer with anxiety um they can have a reduction in their heart rate or their symptoms of anxiety and actually one actually very interesting study i saw i think a few months ago was people who had cold showers compared to the other group that didn't have the cold they had normal temperature showers they reduced the amount of days that they called in sick to work. And that was a randomized control trial. Hmm. Um, so there are lots of emerging, interesting kind of health outcomes and cold water immersion uh, fields of health that we're going into now. However, the evidence for any one of them isn't particularly convincing. There, there are sporadic uh, kind of you know, sporadic uh, pieces of evidence that we have to try and make a hypothesis by like accumulating them all together because they use different exposures. They use different types of cold water immersion. A cold shower is different to an ice bath. An ice bath is different to hydrotherapy. You know, they're all kind of different in a sense. So it wouldn't really be wise to make a generalized statement to say, oh, you know, an ice bath in the morning for three minutes is going to be good for your anxiety when there's only been pieces of data to support that. Um, so yeah, it is quite interesting. Well, there it is. <clears throat> um, it seems that we are getting a timid rating of potentially interesting. Yeah, I would say definitely as in the next five, 10 years, we'll see a lot more evidence on it. However, it should be stated that in some people who do suffer with anxiety or depression, I know that there were some reports of it actually increasing uh, heart rate, increasing blood pressure in some people, um, and in some people who might be a bit sensitive to it, it can actually increase stress and increase well, this, cortisol levels. This guy was, he was stressed out because of the ice bath. Oh. He's like, I don't want to do it. I'm having existential dread, but I'm going to do it, keep doing it every morning. But, 
So why was he doing it in the first place? That's a good, that's a very good question. I, 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 because it's a vibe. It's cool. No, I think he he thinks it is beneficial. uh, Yeah, and it was more like the the point of the video, I guess you could say, was that it it was it was motivational. It was like if you dedicate yourself to something, you should do it, even if you don't want to, kind of thing. And I guess he had set out to do this for sixty days in a row. Let's show him. It's short. I'll show you the video. Right. Yeah. yeah, Part of it is like fifteen seconds. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so what do you see in these days? Uh, what's what's rubbing your tits these days on TikTok? Oh, there's, what isn't? I just, yeah. uh, today I've just responded to someone who said that the modern kind of agricultural practices are decreasing nutrients in our fruits and veggies by quite a lot. And she made the claim that uh, in order to get the same amount of iron, from an apple today, you would have to eat, uh, no, you would have to, to get the same amount of iron in an apple from 1914, you'd have to eat 25 apples today. <laughs> mm, so, that's not true. And I, was, I was like, sorry, number one, where does that come from? Number two, apples are not a source of iron anyway. It contains like 1% <laughs> of your of your daily intake of iron. Who the hell's eating apples for iron? Like, it makes no sense, right? Mm. And uh, and then when I called her out on it, she like tried to claim that I was, you know, inciting, I was harassing her or bullying her or whatever. Oh, yeah. I just said, I just <laughs> said, show me, I just said, show me the evidence. And she cites me a National Geographic article. I was like, great. Okay. I love that yeah, they sucks. say they putting out like this junk science. And then when you try to correct them, it's harassing and bullying. It's like grow a pair. Dude. Right. You're entering like, the public I- discourse. You have ideas. Yes. Let's 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 challenge them. And I like to think that I remain relatively respectful. I yeah. don't insult anybody. I don't call anyone names, right? And you apparently, leave that to I'm, me. yeah, yeah. Like Ethan, you know, you can do that for me. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Um, Carnivar MD is <laughs> a fucking loser, freak. Bro, honestly, you know, he made me call him twice on Zoom prior to our debate. Yeah. I said, what's the point of us calling if you're just going to make us talk beforehand? He goes, oh, I just want to understand your position a bit more. Right. So I spend half an hour digging into his st- his terrible studies he shows me. Right. And I do that twice. I spend an hour of my own time talking to him prior to debating on your platform. And then the day before he goes, yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, nah, let's leave it. He, he was, was like, pro, he wanted to see how embarrassed he was going to get. Yeah. <coughs> what an uh, idiot, dude. And then I started telling my audience, like, look, just because he knows he probably wouldn't have a chance. So he wanted to use those calls to see if I had any good arguments. And the level of evidence he showed me was absolutely atrocious. Mm-hmm. It was so bad. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I'm not surprised in the end, really. I'm not surprised. Can I ask you a question? Uh, what are your thoughts on um, uh, what? It, hold on one sec. I gotta recall the name of this. What are your thoughts on this? Uh, uh, what is it called? God damn it! Here it is. Vinyl chloride. Uh, do we like breathing vinyl chloride? How do we like that? Do we drink it or do we avoid what, it? What? Uh, what is that? <laughs> I don't know what there it was is. a massive. Oh, you don't know what vinyl chloride is? No. Okay, so that's fine. It's just a joke. Sorry. There was a huge catastrophe in Ohio where it leaked a bunch. It's apparently super toxic. Uh, oh. Yeah. Okay. But he, here's the video. So I'll just show it to you. It's only like 20 seconds. Go on. Good morning, guys. It is day 59 of taking a nice bath every single day. And I got to be real with you. I feel like quitting. I don't want to do this today. I stood there staring out the window, procrastinating for the last 20 minutes, thinking about all the excuses that I had not to do this. I didn't sleep well last night. I'm tired. My kids are sick. I woke up with anxiety. And then I thought to myself, with all those things stacked against me, what if I could still pull this off? And so that's what I'm going to do. It's minus four degrees Celsius out here this morning. Water temperature is one degree Celsius. We're going to do three minutes in the ice bath. No matter what's going on in my mind right now, it's still going to be a good day. That's it. You know, he gets in, he does the ice bath thing. But my Okay, that's 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 very interesting because 
I think this this highlights that um, we need to be very reflective and kind of conscious of to the effects of these things on ourselves individually, right? So even though there may be some benefits in some people, some people may, you know, train their vagus nerve to activate the parasympathetic system so it calms them down, it chills them out, right? People who have lots of like daily stressors who are very stressed in their daily life, that's fine. Those people might find benefit. However, if you're finding that actually you're dreading going <laughs> to do it and you're you're kind of you're generating your own anxiety and stress, you know, going to do it every day and you're not finding benefits in your quality of life, then like, you know, why are you carrying on? That was my reaction. You're right. You know? I think I think it's good to do it's good to like do a habit that you're not very comfortable with to start if you know that there are proven benefits right so like a common one would be something like increasing the amount of fiber through fruits and vegetables in your diet right some people initially might get you know high levels of gas or bloating or maybe you know their bowel movements might be odd like to begin with what do you but, mean odd so people that aren't used to having high fibrous foods, their gut can take a disliking to it initially. So they might get a bit of diarrhea, a bit of constipation. They might get a bit of bloating. Their belly might goes out yeah. a little bit. I just wanted to uh, hear you describe like the different kinds of poops you might have. Oh, okay. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, there are lots of different poops. As like uh, in hospital, we have a stool chart for different patients. And um, we we label them type one, type two, type three, type four poo, and it's like oh, there's we four have like, different. There's four main th categories. There's like six. There's like six. Okay, oh, what are they? Um, Do you know off the uh, top of your head? Well, it basically it you so you got rabbit drops. So like if it looks like rabbit droplings, that's yeah. like one like really hard, like really like bitty like pebbles. Yeah. Right? Yep. Um, then you've got like the other end, which is like complete slosh like liquid slosh. <laughs> yeah yeah like imagine just like a just like a diet coke oh, you crying. know what doctor is i had a um i had a uh i was on antibiotics and then i got this really crazy thing my yeah. <laughs> did i ever show this to you my pesto shits no can we show him a picture do you mind he, looking at it? Does he want was to it, see that? Was it was it green or red pesto? Dude, it was, it was green. green. It was it's like, like neon. neon green, dude. Oh, glow in the dark. <laughs> Pretty much. Basically, yeah. It was, uh, uh, does anyone have that, access to that? The pesto I mean, it's on your it? Twitter, right? <laughs> we can go find it. <laughs> it's on he Twitter. Post, he posted it on well, Twitter. Well, we were talking about it so much that I, I decided I'm just going to put it up there for anyone that wants to see. And but, that was um, after an antibiotics. Yeah, after antibiotics. Here it is. Oh God, are you ready, doctor? Wait, can we? Can we show wait. it on screen? No, don't. Right. So, we'll but just switch off, to, right? We can't because we have to switch to him for. Here, I, I have a way to do it. Um, just Ian will just stay on you, and I will uh, <laughs> swap what's being sent to doctor. All right, tell me when you're ready, uh, Dan. Yeah, one second. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I must shut it to everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Holy Here, crap. All right. So now, in a moment, he should see your screen. Okay. Yeah. He's seeing your screen now. So all right. You... So here it is, oh, yeah, Dr. Yeah. It's Get ready. Yeah. I was doing oh, wow. a stool sample. That's what it looked like. Wow. That's like other world. You ever right? seen anything like that? That's like, it looks like a planet. <laughs> <laughs> It's so <laughs> nasty. God, I can't even look at it. It makes me sick. Yeah, that was coming out of me. It's crazy. I never I never knew it could be green like that. And it's like so, vibrant green. Here, let me see. Yeah, yeah. Sure. That's like um actually post anti antibiotic diarrhea is quite common actually. Really? Um, that color? No, no, not that color, but <laughs> Just, <laughs> but just, just the concept of having distorted bowel movements for a while is 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 pretty common. Um, what antibiotics were they? Just by curiosity. Gosh, I don't even remember. It was a while ago now. What was like it? What I was taking them for? I don't even remember. What were they for? Like, what was the illness? That's what I'm trying to remember. C diff. 
C diff? Oh, was it? No, they thought I had might have C diff. Oh, I thought that I thought that's what you had. No, they were saying you were just really ill, right? And like you went to the hospital and Yeah, but it was after I had been on antibiotics for like a week. What, what but that's what I mean. You were just you were really ill, so you got on antibiotics and then it made it made you worse. I don't remember what my illness was though, but anyway. Was it ill with, ill with the poops or something else? No, well, it wasn't poop related at all. Mm. I know, remember okay. that. A little bit of like a guacamole there with maybe like human <laughs> 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 garlic. Ugh. You ever you think about maybe taking a tortilla chip to that? Stop. I think it's like a, <laughs> it looks like egg drop soup in my opinion. Stop. <laughs> right, I see that. I see God. that. Well, except green. Right. I'm surprised surprised there's no sweet corn in there. <laughs> there's no what? <laughs> sweet corn. There's no sweet oh, corn. Sweet corn? <laughs> yeah. Mmm. Yummy. Horrific. Well, there it is. Okay, so so um that is very green. So there it is. Dr. Is, you heard it here. <laughs> um, have you ever seen a shit like that in your career? Um, I've seen some pretty bad ones with blood and like clots Ooh, of okay. mucus and stuff in it. That's weird. Uh, especially yeah. after bowel surgery. Alfredo, where are you going? Don't go back there. Uh, yeah, that's a. Uh, but uh, that sounds bad. But, but, the, but the green, but that color, yeah. yeah, that color. I've not seen. There it is. I've so not seen that. It's I've a not medical. Seen uh, in, it's a medical mystery. You are. You're very special. So Your I've, bowels are very special. I'm glad to show you something new for the first yeah. time, Doctor. No, that was that was insightful. Yeah. All that. right. Well, thank you for the input there, uh, Doctor <laughs> Ids. I appreciate you calling in as always. The one thing, just one thing, I will say, I forgot to mention about cold baths, is that. I would not recommend it at all for anyone who's got pre-existing cardiovascular disease, heart disease, mm. um, anyone that's had a prior history of stroke or they're on the risk for stroke, because when you immerse your body in extremely cold water, your body responds by vasoconstricting your vessels, right? So it narrows your vessels. Right. Meaning, so if you've already got if you've already got narrowed blood flow because you've got plaque and your arteries are a bit narrow, right? You've got you've had strokes or previous uh, occlusions in your vessels. Then, by further constricting it, you could cause something called ischemia, which is a lack of oxygen and nutrient supply to your tissues. So you might make the problem even worse. Well, don't worry, Dr. Idge. Joe Rogan's heart is perfectly healthy and definitely not enlarged. <laughs> From years of human growth hormone. Yeah, he's, he's good. Uh, you don't worry, Dr. Idge. After 20 years of eating only elk meat and egg yolk and taking huth, human growth hormone, I'm sure his heart is in perfect condition. I'm such a sucker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hope, I, hope, I hope most of his audience have sense enough to not follow. They don't. Probably, yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> I can still hope. I, I hope your audience has enough sense, actually. Oh, nobody here is taking ice baths. I guarantee that. <laughs> We're not the type oh, of people, oh, oh. Dr. Ids. Good, I'm glad. All right, oh, listen, uh, thank you so much. Always a pleasure. Thank you Get very much. Thank the you doctor, very much. The good doctor. Appreciate you. And I appreciate you always always uh, able to get on a call with us. Uh, you're the man. Dr. Ids, ladies and gentlemen. TikTok Marvel. TikTok legend. Obama. Legendary doctor, researcher. Thank you, my friend. Take care. Extraordinary. Okay. Are you still single, doctor? There's lots of inquiries in chat. I am. I okay. am. Okay. Hopefully sometime this year, within the next 12 months, I do want to settle down. Okay, okay. we're a, a doctor's looking to settle down, girls. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. When you mention you're a doctor, do the faces light up of the women uh, in general when you speak to them? Uh, usually, they know that I'm a doctor before they know me. So right. your reputation precedes you. <laughs> like I, I don't ever just walk around going, "Hi." If you didn't know, I'm a doctor. Right. You don't find um, yourself in situations like at a bar, having a pint. Oh, you pretty, you don't drink, do you? I don't drink. Yeah, yeah I don't yeah, drink. Yeah, so there that is. So, yeah. I mean, Shame. I do you like to get think up I make... You got to swing that around a little bit. Yeah. The doctor title. What do you guys think of saying? Not not his dick. Well, if you guys can get if you guys can get me a wife, that that'll be that'll be all right. Okay. Okay. We can definitely yeah. work on that. <laughs> we can make anything right on that. All right, doctor. Thank you so much. Take care. Have a good Take one. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Appreciate you. Yeah. This man's a doctor. He's not even out there swinging it around. 
I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. Dr. Ma- Megan Fox just became available. So true. Just saying. Uh, someone should tell him. Just saying. It's a big step up. MGK.